Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at my seven favorite advanced pivot table tips. So these are gonna help you get the most out of your pivot tables if you're just using the basic features. If you wanna follow along with this video, you can get the data and workbook that I'm using linked below in the description. You can also check out my full courses there if you wanna learn more Excel and support the channel. Otherwise, let's get started. In this first tip, we're gonna take a look at changing the summary type within your pivot tables. So by default, when you add a field into the values area of your pivot table, it's going to create a sum or a count depending on what type of field it is. So if it's a numerical field, you're going to get a sum. And if it's a text field, you're going to get a count. But we can change this type of summarization. And to do that, what you're gonna do is left click on the field within your pivot table fields window and go to the value field settings and it's going to open up this menu here so this is the value field settings for the revenue column and here you can see that we've got the sum selected but here we've got options for count average max min product we can count numbers and then we've also got standard deviations and variances let's check out the average so let's select that and press OK. And now our pivot table is going to show the average revenue for each of our category and subcategories. Now we can also access this by right clicking anywhere on one of the values for that field and go to summarize values by. And here we're going to be able to quickly change those. So the most popular options are going to be listed here. And we can also go to more options for the full menu again. And another quick way to get to that menu is to double click on the column heading for that field. So if your pivot table doesn't have any fields in the columns section, then the field heading is going to appear there as the column heading. And you can double click on that to quickly open the value field settings and access that. Let's just switch that back to sum. And one last way that you can access this is also Within your Pivot Table Analyze tab, you can select a cell in your field, and then that's gonna show up here in the active field, and you can click on this Field Settings button, and that's also going to open up that menu. So that's the value field settings, and it's going to allow you to change the summarization type for your field. And this tip, we're gonna take a look at some sorting options for your pivot tables. So here we've got a pivot table with category and subcategory fields in the rows areas. So the first sorting option is that you can manually sort your pivot tables. So for example, we can rearrange our categories here. If we select any item in our category, we can click and drag the edge to a new location. And then within our categories, we can select our subcategories and do the same thing, click and drag those items around to rearrange them manually. Now within our subcategories, we can actually select multiple items and click and drag those to new locations as well. We also have options to sort these in alphabetical order. So if we right click on our category field, then we can select sort here, and then we've got the option to sort them oldest to newest or newest to oldest. So that's just going to be ascending or descending order. Let's try a descending order. So our categories are now arranged in reverse alphabetical order. Right click and sort that. And now they're back into alphabetical order. And within each subcategory, we can do the same thing. Right click on there, sort, and oldest to newest. Right click, sort, and newest to oldest for reverse alphabetical order. We can also sort based on values. So here we've got a revenue field in our values area. We can sort based on that. So if we right click on the revenue for the category, right click, sort, then we can sort that smallest to largest. And then the categories have been arranged into order. Right click, sort, and largest to smallest. And similarly, within our subcategory, we can do the same thing. We can right click and sort smallest to largest or largest to smallest. 
So those are some useful sorting options in your pivot tables, and they're going to help you easily identify the largest and smallest items in your data. In this tip, we're going to take a look at various layout options for your pivot tables. So if you select your pivot table, you can go up to the design tab, and then there's going to be all these layout options here. So first up, let's take a look at report layouts. So by default, pivot tables are going to be in compact form. And that's just going to mean if you have multiple fields in your rows area, then they're all going to appear in a single column. Let's check out outline form. So in this layout, all your fields in your rows area are going to be in separate columns. And finally, let's look at tabular form. And that's going to remove the staggered element to each field, and they're going to appear on the same row. In our report layout, we also have the option to repeat item labels. So you can see that our first field, the category, it only appears once. We can have this repeated down the column. And we can turn that back off. We also have an option here to add blank rows. So we can insert a blank line after each item. That's just going to give our pivot table a bit more space. We can remove that. We can also remove subtotals, so we can not show them at all. We can have them at the bottom of our groups, or we can show them all at the top of the groups, and that's only going to work in compact form, so now they're at the top. And we also have grand total options here, so we can turn them off for rows and columns. We can turn them on for rows and columns, or only for rows, and only for columns as well. So those are the pivot table layout options. They're going to allow you to customize the look of your pivot table. In this tip, we're going to take a look at how you can see the detail behind each value in your pivot table. So suppose you wanted to take a closer look at bike stand orders from Canada then what you can do is double click on that within the pivot table and that's going to create a new sheet in your workbook and that sheet is going to contain all of the bike stand orders from Canada. Let's go back to our pivot table and we've got the same option here in the right click menu. So let's say we wanted to take a look at bike rack sales in France. We can right click and go to show details and we get another sheet with all the bike rack sales from France. So that's show details. It's going to allow you to see all the detail behind each value in your pivot tables. In this tip, we're going to take a look at the show values as options. So these are going to allow you to see your summarizations in a different view. So if we right click on our revenue field here and go to show values as, Right now we've got no calculation applied, so it's just showing the straight sum of our revenue. But we have various options here. So we can show our revenue as a percentage of the grand total. Let's try that. And now what we've got is a percentage breakdown of the revenue within each category. So here we can see that bikes make up 72% of the revenue, accessories make up 17%, and clothing makes up 9%. And within each category, we also have a percentage breakdown. Let's right click and go to show values as again. And let's try out percent of parent total. So this is going to allow us to show a percentage with reference to a base field instead of the grand total. So here our base field is going to be the category. Let's press OK. And now we can see the percentage breakdown for each category. So here each category is considered 100%. And then the subcategories within that category are going to be broken down as a percentage. So here we can see road bikes makes up 54% of our total bike sales. Let's right click and go to show values as and let's just remove our calculations and we're back to our sum of revenue. So that's the show values as options. They're going to allow you to see your summarization with a different calculation applied. In this tip, we're going to take a look at using slicers with our pivot tables. So slicers are going to be objects that allow us to filter our pivot tables. And you can create a slicer by selecting your pivot table, going up to the Analyze tab, 
And here we've got options to insert either a slicer or a timeline. So slicers are going to work with category type of data, whereas timelines are going to work with date-based fields. Let's insert a slicer. And now we're going to be able to select which field we want to add a slicer for. Let's add one for the country and press OK. And now we've got this object here. And if we click on any of the countries, then our pivot table is going to get filtered down to only show that country. Now we can select multiple items by holding control. Or we can also do that with this button up here. That's going to allow us to use multi-select. And now we can select just by clicking on the various items. And we've got a button up here to clear out our filters. And that way everything's now selected. Let's go back to our Analyze tab and add in a timeline. So this one only works with date fields. So let's select our only date field in our data set. And now we've got this timeline object, which also allows us to filter our data. So currently, this allows us to select quarters within our data. But we can change how our data is filtered. So we have the option to filter by years, quarters, months, or days. Let's check out years. And now we're going to be able to filter our data based on the year. And we also have a button up here that allows us to clear out our filter. And now all our data is selected. So those are slicers and timelines. They're going to allow you to filter your pivot tables in a visual way. In this tip, we're going to take a look at using pivot charts. So these are going to be charts that are connected to your pivot tables. And when you change your pivot tables, your charts are also going to change. So these are going to help you explore your data in a visual way. Let's take a look. So to insert one of these, you can go up to the Insert tab and select Pivot Charts here. And you're going to be able to select various types of pivot charts. Let's select a column chart and press OK. And that's going to be inserted into our sheet. And now when we update our pivot table, either sorting or filtering, then that's going to be reflected in our chart. Let's just right click and sort from smallest to largest. And you can see our pivot chart updates accordingly. Same with if we use our slicers, we can filter our data based on that. And now our pivot chart is only showing the Australian orders. Same with our timelines. We can use that to filter and update our pivot charts. So pivot charts combined with slicers and timelines are going to be a great way to explore your data visually. So there you go. That's seven of my favorite advanced pivot table tips that you can start using today with your pivot tables. Did you know them all? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.